Hello! Welcome to Bag Hack Digest. Hey beautiful bag lovers. Look what I got in the mail. Let's open it up. Woohoo! Ta-da! Yes! 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 I got it! It's a brand new MCM bag. Oh my goodness me, I bit the bullet and I purchased it. Oh, that's just stuffing, okay. All right, bag lovers, so this is a brand new item. I purchased it secondhand from someone who never used it on Mercari. Now I'm hoping that this is the real McCoy. If it isn't, it's probably a super fake. I decided that I would take the risk and purchase it. It looks like the real deal though. Let's see, it does come with some cards. Uh, I don't know if these can be replicated or not. If anybody's an MCM person, then they can tell me whether or not this is the real deal. I'll look it up afterwards because I don't know what these things normally come with. Got a note from the seller. Uh, arigatou gozaimasu, Denji san kara yokotta. Yeah, looks looks pretty good. I'll look it up. So this comes with some straps that can be detachable. And one of the things that attract attracts me to this bag has attracted me is that it looks precisely like the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs, which is a bag that is way out of my budget and it's not yet on the secondhand market and uh, I don't think I'll get it. But this one, from reviews I've heard, it's, it's a better bag, it's much more functional than the Palm Springs. And as many of you know, I already have this little guy from Chloe and I have rave reviews about this bag and it's about the same size but this one has more of a backpack appeal this more one has more of a purse appeal love this little guy the only things I haven't loved about it I guess you can see I'll link up my review of this one I'm not sure if this one is real um, because of the ridiculously low price I got this one for this one was a more realistic price still uh, very affordable but the retail for this one, the Chloe, is, is much higher. And this one here, uh, what I don't like about it is that it's noisy when it swings and it's only one simple strap so things could feasibly fall out of it and indeed that has happened to me on one occasion. My um, cell phone did fall out of here at one time so I'm a little bit hesitant about it. And also, um, it's, it's finicky, there's a lot of moving parts. I prefer a little bit more simplicity. And this, this strap doesn't fit on my shoulder very well because I'm just too big for it. And I've also had to put holes in it uh, to make it bigger for me to accommodate my size. But other than that, I, I love this. Enjoy the mini backpack trend. And I know it may be going out of fashion. I don't care, I love it. So this is very similar. Ah, oh, geez, I love this. I think I'm gonna be using this a lot more and end up selling the other one, to be honest. Okay, let's bring the camera back up. Okay, so here she is. My camera's shaking here. This is the mini Bebe Boo uh, mini backpack from MCM. So I have adjusted the straps and it fits perfectly. I love everything about that, but I'm not convinced that I got the real McCoy and uh, I haven't paid for it officially yet so I'm going to do a little more, bit more research and if it's not I'm going to try and get a refund. If that doesn't work out um, I'm just going to suck it up. These are the risks you take when you buy online secondhand. Sometimes these things do happen and sometimes the vendor doesn't even know him or herself if it's real to be honest. Not to defend people who do this but it does happen. So the reasons why I'm not convinced that this is real. First of all from the bottom you can see that the upper pocket is not perfectly aligned. I don't know if that comes through on the camera, but I don't know if that's the case for the real McCoy either. Um, but uh, that's one thing I noticed. Second, I'm not sure if these uh, zipper pulls are supposed to be edged all the way around. I know that MCM has changed some of the way it does things. 
Uh, the stitching on here I don't find is perfect either. There are some places, I'll try and find some close-ups for you after. This top part is not perfectly round, although that could just be um, the way it was packaged, I don't know. The metal looks like it's more of a coated metal, but to be honest, for this particular color of metal, that is kind of what I expected. Uh, that is what they do to produce this color, so I would imagine this would chip, not like the solid brass versions of the MCM. I've looked closely at the metal plate, and it does have that coated look to it, but the serial number, and uh, it all looks good. The the plate uh, part here is aligned properly and I'm gonna have to look at the serial number on the internet. I haven't done that yet. And the card that it came with, I'm, I don't know if MCM bags come with these cards, so I don't know. And the way it was written, uh, there don't seem to be any weird spelling mistakes or anything, but there is um, style number is written without a space next to it. There you go, and it looks like some stuff has been uh, printed on top of it. So I don't know you guys, what do you think? Is that convincing or is that a load of BS? Hmm. And what else do we have here that's not convincing? I'm not sure if the materials on the inside and on the outside here are actually leather, let alone um, quality leather. They don't smell like plastic, but they don't particularly smell of leather either. So again, I'm gonna have to do some research on that. And what else is not good? The shape of the bag otherwise is okay. The zippers work fine. The inside of the bag um, has two card slots in the back and it has this MCM brand here. I'll, I'll do, put some more close-ups in here. See, it's kind of like a raised um, leather coated plaque, but I don't think this is leather at all, you guys. I think this is plastic and it crinkles on the inside. This can't be real. See, see how it crinkles there? I don't know, I'm not impressed. And it does have a, it's gonna be really hard to get in here, but it does have an MCM label in there and it has some um, serial stuff in the back. I'm gonna have to look that up but I think this is looks to me like a vinyl coating and I don't think MCM bags have a vinyl coating. They could though, it, I, I don't know. Again, any of you guys in the know, please let me know. What do you think? Hmm. The logo appears to be right. There's eight leaves on one side and uh, nine on the other. I think left and right, that would be upside down. But yeah, I looked up on a website, a couple of websites actually, to check all the telltale signs. And the biggest thing that I get out of this that tells me is the stitching and the quality of the leather. Um, not really convinced and I did get such a good price on this so I'm not sure the straps in particular I don't know what the real ones are supposed to look like but um, so I've, I've done them up uh, this is a, like a little band that came through to tighten it so I put them on the tightest settings and see this goes on the opposite side that I don't know I don't know if that's good or not um, I have to see closer up for real one. Oh, I just looked in the back here. That's that's not good, is it? The stitching goes right over the actual logo. I don't think that that should be the case. And as you can see here, oh, I just dripped something on it. It's a bit of water. But there's a piece of stitching out here, and I don't think the stitching is particularly, I don't know, perfect. The, see this here? Does that, that doesn't look very professional to me. Hmm. It does have the branding on the metal. And even, so where, can, let me show you a better shot of that. Okay, I don't know, this is, this is good enough, but you see the seams on the metal here, they're just not of a high caliber in my opinion. Don't like that. There's the MCA brand on this clip, and I think it's also on the side. I thought it was on the side, let me check. Oh yeah, it's on the inside. There you go, it's on the inside of this loop right here. I wish I had a better camera to show you guys. There you go, you can sort of see it. 
The actual studs here look okay to me. Oh, here's another potential telltale sign, you guys. Look at the hole punch here. A, it's not completely perforated, hasn't gone all the way through. And second, it's not exactly in the middle now, is it? Hmm. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Also, look at the back of this particular a hardware piece. Um, it's just a regular screwdrive. It's not finished well. Um, according to the website, that should just be um, like a, a, a very well refined piece that's just got a slit across it and not this little thing in the middle. The very tip of this piece of leather here that's gone through the hole should also not be a fully square piece like that. It should be tapered off. Other bags I've seen online also have additional holes near the top or it could be down here for further adjustment for carrying the bag in other ways, which this one does not have. There are only uh, five holes, I believe. And that is, I believe, correct, that part there. But there's also a hole on the tip, I think, in some of them. So incorrect. Okay, I've also found out that the real bags do not have this metal plate. Um, on the part here that holds this together, which can also be worn at the end of this part here, as I see a lot of people, other people with this bag on YouTube. So, hey, this is not looking real, my friends, not at all. And look at that stitching is crap. Really. I checked again online and actually the authentic bags do have this piece of metal in some of them, but they also have another leather bound piece that is not included in this bag. So I was wrong, but I'm still right about it not looking authentic. I also don't think that these um, in two pockets in the back are supposed to be contrasting color. And again, I don't know about that tag down there. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Probably it's supposed to be embossed with MCM on the actual back as well. On closer inspection, you guys, I can see the MCM logo in here. And I also read, according to, again, some more vloggers, that a lot of people, a lot, I mean a few, a couple I've seen, don't think that this is supposed to be leather to begin with. So I'm back to being confused again. This should be one full piece of leather and it should be, should have been cut out and not, you know, just different, three different pieces here. This should be one seamless piece around both edges of the bag. I don't know. I'm not really convinced to be honest. I think, I, I think it's a fake. I think that an MCM bag should be, it, it is a luxury item. It should be pretty perfect. So yeah, a little bit disappointed and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is embarrassing. I looked on the internet again and found that there are indeed some models that have this extra piece of leather in here. So I'm just going to have to keep going and uh, <sighs> going to have to keep doing a little more research to find out about uh, the different uh, differences from year to year with this model because apparently this strap sometimes only has one row of stitching depending on what year it was made. So um, again, I'm gonna basically just communicate with the seller and see if I can't figure this stuff out. The cards fit nicely in here, by the way. It's a great way, place to put in your card when you're traveling, bus card or whatever. Okay, and here regarding the emblems, they've cut off the emblem here on the seam. That doesn't seem like something that a high-end bag would do. And this is three dots at the top, but other ones I've seen have been three dots, or diamonds rather, here. And this one is in verse. And this one has two MCM logos face down and one face up on the right. But other ones I've seen have two facing up and one facing down. So that doesn't look too good. I've also noticed that the uh, etching of the emblems, the MCA emblems, is very faint on this. And again, this this is cut off a little bit here, and it doesn't seem to be consistent with other bags I've seen on the internet. Another thing you're supposed to look for for authenticity of an MCM backpack is that the zipper is sort of diagonal, 
which it is, starts from the middle position and goes around to the front, so that's good. The structure of the bag is pretty much all good except for this front pocket not seemingly to be at center here. But other than that, this I'm not disappointed with the structure or the look. This is kind of like a, it's um, kind of like Louis Vuitton's canvas. It's kind of like a textured canvas, so I know that's not leather, but I'm not convinced, again, about these parts here. This is supposed to be worn potentially as a belt. I'll never do that, but I don't know if that's leather. Usually I have a good eye for these things. This is why it's scary, because the counterfeit counterfeiters are getting better at this, but that stitching, I don't know. Don't know. I Again, I could be wrong, you guys. If everything is the way it's supposed to look, then this is a bloody good counterfeit, I have to say. But um, I'm not convinced, again, by this little card here. I don't know if that exists. And it just seems a little bit off, and I got it for a really, really good price. So, I don't know. I'm going to... Um, a Peter, a Peter sitter. We'll see what happens. Just found another mistake too on the dust bag. I don't think that R symbol should be there. All right, I'm leaving you with this backside image of my new so-called MCM bag. I am convinced that this is not real. I'm going to report them on Medicati, I think. Actually, I'm going to email the seller directly and uh, dispute it with her first, and then. Uh, we'll move from there and I'll let you know how it goes. Do you have any comments on this little guy? Uh, do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? I'd love to hear your opinions, um, uninformed or well-informed. Either way is good. Please comment below. Uh, I think it is cute one way or the other. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. Okay, Bag Hag, signing out. Mwah.